Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are whoa. Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing something new that I hope becomes a series on my channel. If you guys enjoy this, then definitely give this video a thumbs up and share it and leave comments and let me know your overall thoughts on this new idea, which actually was an idea that a subscriber had. So um, I'm really excited. We are doing something called OMG Tuesday. It is kind of the budget version of WTF where I'm going to put to the test budget friendly items that are either really unique, interesting, innovative, or they're just like a $4 foundation. Let's see how it wears throughout the day. Can we find some stuff that is super affordable that works really, really well? And also along the way, I'm probably going to try a few things that don't work out. So it'll be kind of the budget friendly version of WTF as I said. So for the very first OMG, I have the coolest product to try out and it is from Nails Inc. And this is spray paint nail polish. Oh my gosh, we're all gonna be spray painting our nails. It's so amazing. Like forget the manicures, it's so much easier. You heard me right nail polish in a spray paint can. This is really crazy and a lot of you guys have been tweeting me and requesting this so I had to try it out. You can find this at Sephora and I know that I'm like, OMG, it's budget friendly, but I'm talking also like it's not $100, it's $12.99, so this is not totally breaking the bank. And what this item is supposed to do is ease the application of nail polish where literally you put on a base coat, you spray paint your nails, you let that dry, you put on the top coat, and then you wash your hands, and the nail polish does not adhere to actual skin. It only sticks to um, the nail polish and what's on the nail. So you're supposed to end up with the easiest manicure ever. Now that seems kind of too good to be true. So I'm just, I really was super excited to try this out. I'm like sitting here like wanting to like sit on my hands and not show you the finished result because we're gonna jump to a clip of me actually trying this product out and it is the craziest thing ever. So let's just get to it and spray paint my nails. I'm ready for my spray paint. Shake it, shake, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> they emphasize that you really need to give this like a good shake. I think that's good enough. On to spraying on some nail polish. I never thought this would be possible. I'm very excited. The size of this one over here in the middle. Actually all of them. Wow, frostbite. Oh, God. Now we wait till it dries. This one looks really freaking lumpy. Oh, yuck. This does not look so good. Uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> did I do it right? That seems like I did it right. Right? Okay, so this almost dries down around the nail like a powder. Like I, could, I can almost scrape it off. Do you know what I'm saying? This looks horrible. This looks really awful. It looks like I've been playing with a bunch of chalk, um, but I'm gonna wash my hands. Maybe dish soap is a little bit stronger. Try some dish soap. From afar, this looks like, oh yeah, like a nice pretty pink manicure, but if you go up close, I'm sorry, I don't think it looks that good. 
No, it looks awful. Oh my gosh. Well, you don't have to be so harsh, James. Um, it does look pretty bad. Maybe for kids, this would be kind of a fun project, like fun spray paint your nails and you don't have to be so super still and steady and it would be fun, but it took a lot of scrubbing to get, gosh, not, that didn't even come all the way off. I just, I don't like the way this looks. I don't like it. This item actually is even more affordable than I thought. It's not $12.99, it is $12. There are two shades. They have a more metallic shade that in my mind I think would work better because metallics are just easier to settle on the nail. Um, I of course tried out the hot pink and it's a nightmare. I don't like it. I have to go to a lunch meeting right now and I'm kind of just like, oh god, what have I done? It looks like I'm a full-on amateur and don't know how to paint my nails and it is like clumpy and chunky and even washing my hands with dish soap and soft soap um, there's still a little bit of like the pink left behind. I was hoping for this to work out much better than it did. And as mentioned, I think this would be fun for like a project with your kids or something that's just kind of fun to do. But as far as reaching for this as an alternative to traditional nail polish, I don't think it's worth it at all. I don't think it's worth $12. I would prefer to use my like $1.99 Wet n Wild and just paint it on myself and clean up the edges with a little bit of acetone because this in theory sounds like it's gonna be so much easier, but really you're still painting on that base coat, you're waiting for that to dry. You're spray painting, you're waiting for that to dry. You're painting on the top coat, you're waiting for that to dry. And then you are washing your hands pretty intensely or you can also soak them in warm water, but either way you gotta get you know the edges off. So you guys, this one was a fail. I really thought it was gonna actually be like this amazing thing, but um, this is just, this is not for me. I have hope though, when new products like this launch, usually more versions of it come out and the original company itself will even like up their game and come out with a better version of it. So, you know, maybe as beauty technology improves, the concept of this will get better, but this is just a no-go. As far as polished nails, Inc. is not bad. They're a great brand. Um, some of their polishes are really long wearing and amazing. Others have chipped on me pretty easily, but um, that, being said, I don't think it's a bad brand. I just think this product is not good. So there we have it. I'm gonna go and have lunch and kind of like hide my hands while I eat and be like, oh yeah, what happened? Again, let me know what you think of this new series. I can do this once a week, twice a month, once a month, whatever you guys are into, let me know. And also let me know, like, is there like a dollar eyeliner that you want me to try out and like zoom in and close up and do the whole vlog style and let you know throughout the day how it wore and if it competes with my higher end stuff. And that way we can find really great affordable makeup. And I just think it would be a fun addition to my channel. So there you have that. I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you in my next video. Hey guys, you can also check my videos out on watchable.com or by downloading the Watchable mobile app. Check me out, link is in the description.